Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video about my shoes. I have the majority of them right here, vintage inspired and actual vintage shoes. I'm only leaving a couple pairs out which are like sandals or Converse, which I'll only wear if it's like a super hot day and I'm going to the beach or something for the sandals. And the Converse I normally only wear if I'm like doing super casual or I'm going like through a walk in the woods or something like that. But otherwise, I just wanted to kind of share my collection with you guys, what I look for when I'm shopping for vintage inspired shoes, and um, maybe give you some inspiration and some ideas to find some that you'll like as well. Alright, so first I thought that we would start with my actual vintage shoes, and the first pair that I have are these purple suede shoes that I found at the Salvation Army. I thought that these were super, super cute. They were like $4, so it was a really great deal. I love the kind of like squared off toe that these have on them. And then the low block heel also just kind of screams 60s to me. I pretty much always wear shoes with some kind of a heel on them. I think that it really just um, kind of helps to make your outfit look more vintage and uh, makes you look more dressed up like super easily. Like they're not uncomfortable or anything or hard to walk in. So they're just like the perfect height and I have yet to wear these out yet. But I think, especially when next fall rolls around, I will definitely be wearing these a lot. And yeah, so $4, I thought that was a really great deal from the Salvation Army. Then the next pair I also got from the Salvation Army, and I have wore these like to death. I got them last summer, and they've kind of been my go-to everyday shoes since then, because they are like so neutral. I love, love, love like cream or white shoes for an everyday 60s look. I think that that's just, I don't know, it's just kind of been like my signature since my first like super super 60s pair of shoes that I would wear a lot, which you guys will see in a little bit when I show you those. Um, but yeah, so they're kind of like everyday shoes. I love the fact that these were like super long and narrow. I think that that looks really 60s and makes your legs look like a lot longer and skinnier. So I thought that that was cool and then I also really liked the dainty little strap around the ankle here. I thought that that was nice and feminine. And then the, of course, like small block heel. These are really falling apart because I wear them like so much, but I still wear them anyways just because um, I really can't go without. Like I try to tell myself like they're literally falling apart. Don't wear them. But every single time I go to my closet and try to pick out which shoes to wear, I end up wearing these. And I probably will continue to until I literally cannot wear them anymore. Um, when I went to the Netherlands, I wore them a lot, and so the heel got really dirty from it raining so much over there. I had to color it in black, which I literally just did with Sharpie, but I think it looks okay, and they're fine as long as you don't get too close to them, which nobody really gets close to your feet, so uh, you can't tell that they're totally trashed until you get up close and personal. So yeah, that's fine, um, but yeah, I think these ones were $8 at the Salvation Army, which is a little pricey for thrift, in my opinion. But shoes are something that I'm willing to make an investment on just because I have a really hard time finding shoes that I love a ton. And so yeah, $8 really isn't bad at all. The next pair that I have, we will show my like first true love pair of vintage shoes which started the white shoe trend for me. Um, I got these dead stock, I got them for a special occasion which ended up not happening. But um, these are so, so cool. Oh my gosh. Like, literally, I'm keeping these. I can't wear them anymore because I wore them so much that they look horrible. Um, but when I get some money, I plan on getting these fixed, like going to a shoe repair place and hopefully they can fix like the white leather that's on it and also maybe uh, resole them because... Yeah, I really wore them to death, but they are so amazing. The inside has this cool, like, psychedelic print, and yeah, I got them unworn. They were really, really expensive. Like, I got them on Etsy, and I'm just gonna say, that it was for a special occasion, so you can't, like, hound me about this price or anything. I think it was, like, $130 for these shoes, but I fell in love. They were unworn. I literally wore them for like every single day for a year probably so I definitely got my money's worth out of them and now I'm probably just gonna go get them fixed again so yeah I, I think that we'll see more of these in the future they're my absolute favorite I've looked forever to find something that's like similar to these but um I've, I've yet to be like satisfied with the results that I found 
So I love like the T-strap, I think that that looks so cute and I love the squared off toe and they're again pretty narrow so it makes your feet and legs just kind of like elongated which I loved. I love the small little heel on these, I thought that they were just perfect and they looked good with all of my 60s dresses so I need to get these fixed but you can see like on the heel the leather's coming off, um, yeah the bottom. It's just rough, but honestly, I love them so, so, so much. You can see how bad they are now that they're up close. But still, they're really cute, so I refuse to throw these away um, because I believe that I'm going to be able to get them fixed. Hopefully that's true. Fingers crossed. The next pair that I'm going to show, um, I'll show these ones. So these are another of my kind of everyday pair. These were supposed to be in place of these ones, once these ones were like being retired, once I was like, okay, I really cannot wear these out anymore because I look kind of homeless. Um, so I got these ones in place of those, but they just don't do the same trick for me. Like, I don't know. I think it's the white that I love so much on the shoes or the cream. Um, maybe if these ones were cream, I'd like them more, but I think that they have a higher heel, which maybe even just by a little bit, let's compare. Yeah, it's just like a little bit of a higher heel, but I don't know, they're just not my favorite because of that. And, um, I don't know, maybe because they're not as narrow too, that they, they just don't look as good on me, I feel like. But I still really love these. They definitely didn't replace those white cream ones that I got. Um, but yeah, I got these from Etsy too. These ones were, I think, $52. I got them last last January or something it was around like right after Christmas but yeah so these are another of my everyday pair even though I don't nearly wear them as much as the white ones that I've showed you before um, but they're super cute still they are a gray suede with this cool like little tie which I thought was really cute and then they have this kind of like little detailing around which is also adorable so yeah these ones are super cute too just not my favorite for some reason. Finally, um, I have these which I got from a thrift, or not a thrift store, it was an actual vintage store called Very Best Vintage, downtown Chicago in Pilsen. And so I love that store, it was really cool. I saw these and I was like, those are amazing. I bet you they're not my size and I tried them on and they fit perfectly so I was really excited. I haven't worn these a lot yet either just because it's been like snowy and gross outside so I didn't want to ruin them. But they're this really cool like metallic, gold, shiny um, fabric. And then they've got this really cute tie which is also gold. And so yeah, these are really adorable too. Very narrow, the long kind of a little bit squared off a toe on them and then a little tiny block heel which is also adorable so yeah super 60s these ones I think were they weren't bad at all I remember getting them and I was pretty surprised I think they were like $30 so yeah great store really cute shoes and that pretty much sums it up for my actual vintage shoes now we will jump into the vintage inspired shoes Alright, so first vintage inspired shoes that I will share with you guys are the only pair of shoes that are without like an actual heel on them that I've got in this collection, um, which are these little like flat loafers that I picked up from H&M. These I thought that were really cute just to wear um, with like my black skinny jeans, kind of like for a beatnik look, and with some like white uh, little socks kind of peeking out. I thought that was really cute and I used to wear these to work when I was a server just because I was not a fan of the tennis shoe life. So yeah, these are really cute and they still look pretty 60s in my opinion because they're narrow and long. Um, they also could just look long because my feet are really big, but they're really cute for just kind of like slip on shoes. Kind of dirty honestly but on like still um really cute for like slip on shoes just to wear around if you have to like run out to the mailbox or you got to go to the grocery store or something like that i also wear these around the house for slippers because my feet get really cold so they are great like multi-purpose and just kind of like a nice staple to have so these are also from no these are from zara excuse me i got them on sale i don't really wear these because they're a little bit too big for me so i've been thinking about selling them but they're not vintage so I couldn't sell them on my Etsy. Uh, they were just like regular white and I thought that these looked super cute in 60s-ish too and I'd probably wear these a ton, 
but they are too big for me so they kind of like slide around too much and they're uncomfortable to wear. So I got these because they were white and I think they were like $12 on sale. And I liked the little low block heel on them and I actually put all of these sequins on it because I wanted to like jazz it up a little bit so I thought that looked cute and um, yeah so I, I just haven't worn them a lot for that reason that they're too big. Next um, I will show you these which are another pair that I've personalized. I really like personalizing shoes like you saw with these with the sequins on the um, heel and then also with these ones how I colored in the heel black and then I've also like drawn flowers on the bottom just because when I walk I like to see like some kind of pattern on the bottom and I wrote my name I don't know I just like personalizing stuff so I did that with those here's another pair that I personalized these were originally just like some uh, they were all brown kind of like leather looking shoes but they're from forever 21 these cute little platforms they're not too high either so I don't feel like I tower over everybody because I'm so tall, so I thought that that was really nice. Um, but they still give you like the platform shoe look. And I just painted it black, well first actually, I painted these with like little flowers all over the heel and everywhere. I kind of just hand painted. And then I got kind of tired of that look and I wanted to go for more of a glam rock look with it. So I covered them in black paint and then I took this gold and um, like silver multicolored glitter that I had and I just put it all over them while the paint was drying and yeah it's actually stayed really well so I'm probably gonna um, do another glitter coat sometime soon maybe I'll do silver instead of gold this time but yeah I thought that that was a really just kind of cute way to get some cool looking platforms for cheap so if you go and you find like cheap shoes that you're like mm, those are like okay looking you can like do something to make them look cooler because these were from forever 21 i think i got them for 15 dollars and i've changed them multiple times i think that i'm probably going to change them up again but yeah just a cool way to get some cheap cool vintage looking shoes if you personalize them yourself so the next pair of shoes that i'm going to share with you are also like a personalized pair. I got these ones from Target for like six dollars originally and they were just like these black suede slouchy boots with if you know what I'm like talking about that's kind of like an 80s style I guess but not really my favorite so I saw these and I was like they have some potential to be really cool and I've been looking for the perfect kind of like Penny Lane embroidered style boots but I really wanted like true vintage ones um, just because like the vintage inspired ones that I've seen are $100 which I can't afford and then the heel is bigger than what I wanted so I was like well since I can't find any vintage ones of my size that are in my price range and then I don't really like love love the vintage inspired ones I decided that I could make my own with these shoes which I did so they were originally just like slouchy boots from Target and uh, $6 on sale I went and I bought these little like things at Michael's. I don't know what the professional term is for those. And then I got the embroidered like flower patches from Michael's as well. And these were iron-on, but the iron-on was not having it with the whole suede situation. So I just took some Gorilla Glue and I glued it down and that worked fine. And then I had to like um, space out all of the holes so that they were evenly spaced. And it was really, really hard to get it in here because like if you don't know how to get these in, you have to put the back through and then put on the top and you have to take a hammer and you have to pound each one individually in. So these were a ton of work because I mean just look at how many are on each side and I had to do that twice. And so these were like I think three days worth of work and um... Yeah, I would say three days and like I spent all night, like I'd get home from work at 6 o'clock and I would spend until like 10 o'clock at night working on these. So they took a while but they were really worth it because I love them and um, now I have some cool like 60s Penny Lane style boots that I got for maybe like with um, all of this stuff that I had to buy, I believe the total would have been maybe like $15 then totally for the boots. So if you just are willing to put in a little extra work, you can make some boots as well. Um, I was using this kind of like suede cording as the lace for the shoe initially, but if you pull on it really tight to kind of like lace up the boot, 
Um, I found that it snaps really easily. So this lace is completely broken on this, but we went yesterday to Michael's and got some string, which I'm going to use as the shoestrings for these now. I just have to swap it out really quick. Next, we will just continue on with the whole boot situation then. And these ones I actually lifted from my mom's closet, so sorry if you're watching this mom. Um, but these are too cute. They are, and I'm sure she agrees, she loved these boots and I just kind of like took them with me when I moved out. But uh, yeah, so they are this like light kind of brown leather and um, the heel's really low, so I like that as well. They look super cute for 70s outfits and for 60s, they kind of like look like Nancy Sinatra go-go boot kind of like that style. Otherwise you can, um, I like to wear these with longer skirts too. Kind of like you see with Jackie in that 70s show, she wears like skirts that are, or dresses that are just below the knee and then some long boots. And I think that looks like super cute together. So yeah, I love these. Thanks mom, I don't know where she got them or how much they were. So yeah, but shout out to her. Next, um, we will just do more boots since I have a couple pair. Um, these ones I got from B-A-I-T Footwear, and I think that stands for But Another Innocent Tale. And actually, I think these are from ModCloth, but ModCloth was carrying the um, But Another Innocent Tale brand. And these were on sale on ModCloth when I got them. They also had them in black but I really liked the white ones, and um, yeah, they're super cute. They're like over the knee style, and that's totally adorable in my opinion, super 60s. Um, another low, nice little heel, so that's cute. Just kind of like good everyday shoes. And um, yeah, my only problem with these is that they fall down when I'm walking. Like, I don't know if this needs to be like tighter around my leg, like, you know what I'm saying, like much tighter otherwise. It used to be okay um, when I'd wear like socks or something underneath, but they still kind of slip down, which is a reason that I don't really wear them too much, but I still think that they're really cute, so I love them, and yeah, here they are. And then I have one other pair of shoes from um, BAIT Footwear, which Andrew got these for my birthday. I really, really wanted them. They came out with them and I saw them on Instagram and I was like, okay, I need these. And so Andrew was so sweet and he got them for me for my birthday. And they are these white go-go boots, which I think is really cute. I had some go-go boots before, which I sold to my friend Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really wear them a lot because I didn't like, like, I'm just too picky with it. Like, honestly, I didn't like the heel. I didn't like the way that they looked on me. I think that they look really cute on other people, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. These ones are really cute too. I only have one other problem with these, which is that I wish that this calf area was tighter again because they're really loose around my calves. Then the next two pairs of shoes that I have are these, which they're actually the same shoes. I just had to get them in both colors because I like them so much. First I got them in the cream, which I thought was super cute, like go-go boot style. Um, these are from Forever 21, if I didn't say that already. Both of them are. And they also have like a cool maroon color too, but I just didn't get that. I got the cream and then the black. I got these because, again, I really liked the long, narrow kind of a foot look, low block heel, um, just kind of like a cool ankle go-go boot style. And um, my only like critique about being like true vintage I guess looking is that I wish that these would be again like tight around your ankle like maybe like that or something because they do leave like a lot of space which I just think makes your legs look bigger than they actually are and so yeah that's my only complaint but I think they're super cute I definitely wear the black more than I wear the cream ones but um, I think these look really cute with like pants if I wear pants I'm usually wearing these it's like a good heel length and then um, they just look super cute under flares or they or they look really cute um, with just uh, what am I trying to say they look really cute with skinny jeans as well yeah so um, I like to wear these ones especially when I'm wearing um, my black skinny jeans and I think that it makes like a really cool kind of like beatnik style. You probably saw these in my um, 
last lookbook I did with the whole beatnik like inspired lookbook. But yeah, so these are really cute, Forever 21. I love these. These ones I wear a ton too, probably these. And then these ones are like my most worn shoes. All right, so actually that's all the shoes that I have to share with you guys today. Let me know if you would like another video like this. I'm open to ideas. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever you're doing and wherever you are.